Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our push strength, chest and our triceps. We're going to get some good amount of volume, use some pause techniques to get as many repetitions as possible. Now to start off with, we are going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side as usual every day on your marks. Make sure you get the dynamic stretching in other than any other cardio or warm-up which you prefer to do please do add dynamic stretching to your routine pre-workout to ensure the mobility of your body before beginning any kind of workout and the greatest stretch is one of the best stretches to perform pre-workout now post completing the greatest stretch i move on to my mandatory deep squat for the day wherein i squat deep i usually do this twice or thrice a day once definitely pre-workout wherein I push my glutes as far behind as possible, feel the stretch in my hamstrings and once my hamstrings are completely stretched, bend my knees and slowly go into a deep squat and stay there for a few seconds. Now, if you are doing it on a regular basis wherein you want a little bit more improvement on your hip mobility, you can do it other than on your pre-workout times, you can do it at any point of the time, sit there for a few minutes. Up to 10 minutes actually also is absolutely fine. Now straight away I'm going to start with the first exercise which is dumbbell bench press, flat bench press. Now make sure you are choosing a weight wherein you fail at 15 repetitions and then we are going to use the pause and rest technique to add another 20 repetitions in 5-5 five, five repetition mark. So we pause for a few seconds, do another 5 repetitions, pause again, do another 5 repetitions and in that manner accumulate another 20 repetitions. And as you can see, the posture I maintain throughout the repetition is never bend my elbows once the dumbbell is beside me. So the elbows always stay in that 90 degree angle to keep the tension on my chest muscles only and always push up using my chest keep your chest as forward as possible if you're choosing a heavier weight use your legs to drive if not you need not use much of a leg drive you can control the weight with your chest alone make sure you do two sets of these wherein 15 repetitions each time plus another 20 repetitions using the rest pause technique post completing my dumbbell bench press flat bench press i moved on to my incline bench setup wherein i have done the same miller format which is two sets, 15 repetitions, plus pause, rest, five more repetitions. Pause, rest, five more repetitions and accumulate another 20 repetitions. So we are getting anywhere 35 to 40 repetitions depending upon the amount of tension, uh, amount of fatigue you're going to hit. If you're failing way before, maybe you are able to achieve only 30 repetitions. That's absolutely fine. But try to get to that 35 mark for every set using the pause and rest technique. Now the break in between the sets, 60 seconds would be idle. When you're doing the incline bench setup, do not take the bench extremely high. You just need to increase the incline just by the minimal increment available in the bench. If you don't have an incline bench, you can just simply pop it up by placing a couple of plates under the bench on the head side and that inclination would be far enough. After completing my incline bench press, I moved on to my single arm chest push downs. Now, how I'm going to do it is basically grab the single, uh, grab a cable crossover cable with one arm. The elbow is facing up. The cable is in line with my elbow or with my forearm. And then I push down into my chest, bring my arm towards the midline of my body. Now I go 15 repetitions each arm and when I'm switching from one arm to the other, I don't take a rest. So this is where you do absolutely insane amount of volume. So you're switching from one arm to the other without taking a break. So, and you are also not taking a break in between the sets. So you're just switching from one arm to the other, getting those 15 repetitions. Make sure the cable is set up very high and the elbow stays in line with the cable. And every time you push it down, your chest is getting the maximum amount of activation. So you have to get your arm across your body towards the midline of your body as I am doing it. So after three sets, we use the same 
cable crossover machine to set ourselves up for a cable crossover exercise wherein we do cable crossovers from high to low setup basically set the cables high and from high we push low here again take your arms across each other to get the maximum amount of adduction in your chest because that's where your chest gets the maximum amount of muscle fiber activation so make sure you push your arms all the way across and bring them towards the midline of your body we are using the pause and rest technique again here we are doing two sets 15 repetitions then you pause do another five another five another five and try to get those 20 more repetitions that's a lot of volume i understand you might hit fatigue in between so you are free to take a break in between the sets from 60 to 90 seconds keep the weight challenging enough so you fail at 15 repetitions if you take a heavier weight you would not be able to achieve the repetitions and repetitions are the target here or the objective for us to achieve post completing my cable crossovers i moved on to decline uh, decline dumbbell bench press now i don't have a decline bench set up in my gym so i'm just using a decline crunch uh, crunches uh, bench which is available simply locking my legs so we are going to do three sets of these 20 repetitions again choose a weight where 20 repetitions are the failure mark don't take an extremely light amount of weight where 20 repetitions are very easy you should start hitting fatigue right about 17 to 18 repetition and that 19th and 20 repetition is where you're really pushing yourself to get the last amount of reps in post completing my chest exercises i move on to my tricep work the first exercise is dumbbell tricep extension with internally rotated shoulder position so basically as you can see i take the dumbbell i rotate my arm internally so my shoulders are rotated inwards and now i'm trying to raise the dumbbell high up with the palms facing outside this is a challenging exercise especially if you're doing for the first time so you like i am doing can use the other arm to grip the dumbbell or you know control the dumbbell on its way the other arm is not actually pushing the dumbbell but actually helping me in terms of controlling the dumbbell or making sure the dumbbell stays in position when my shoulder is internally rotated post completing that i moved on to close grip press on the smith machine wherein i have done again two sets 15 repetitions plus pause and rest technique of 20 more repetitions in 5 5 reps interval now here you are at a safe place the smith machine would never go off so try to go as heavy as possible make sure you get all the repetitions i recommend because again we're in a very comfortable position the bar is not going to move away from you the weight is not going to fall off you can easily push the weight and if you ever feel fatigue you can always immediately rack the weight at a very in a very safe manner one of the most i think unique points of a smith machine now post completing the close grip press i moved on to incline bench barbell tricep extensions wherein i take the barbell behind my head and perform tricep extensions on an incline bench setup so the bench is at this point of time set it up uh, set it up at about 45 degree angle and keep your head out and take the barbell behind your head and make sure the barbell remains behind your head the concept of sets remain the same two sets 15 repetitions plus 5555 five, five, five. another 20 more repetitions a pretty easy exercise i went with a 10 kilo uh, fixed weight barbell because my triceps were fit, uh, pretty much done already so that was good weight enough for me to reach failure in every set after completing my tricep work i moved on to core work here i have done four sets of as many repetitions as possible hanging leg raises using the barbell behind my back again to control the amount of swing i have and to get clean repetitions as much as possible so you can use the same technique make sure you crunch at your abdomen get your hips as high up as possible get your butt cheeks in front of you that's where it happens if you're just raising your knees up you're using your hip muscles you're not using your abdominal muscles so make sure you get your butt cheeks up high up that's where you feel the maximum amount of abdominal stretch and crunching do four sets of these and that's it we are done for today i move on to my static stretch wherein i lay down with a pvc pipe in my arms stretched out 
creating an adduction sorry abduction to stretch out my chest muscles and also create a little bit of stretch on my tricep muscles thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe because i'm going to keep on improving on this program try to get as much better as possible in terms of volume and the choices of exercises by now we are into the fourth week of the four day split concept so thank you for hanging out with me i am sure you're getting the equal amount of gains which i am getting so i'll see you in the next video have a good day thank you again